Hey, welcome back to Daily Hope. We're going through the book of 1 Timothy, and we're looking at some of the big themes in the book. Yesterday, we saw the theme of uh, accurate teaching of the Bible, or in theology terms, it's called sound doctrine. Today, we see this theme of public worship. What worship looks like, what happens when the believers get together, it absolutely matters to God. In fact, in verse 4, Paul's going to say this, Don't let these false teachers waste their time in endless discussion of myths and spiritual pedigrees. These things only lead to meaningless speculations, which don't help people live a life of faith in God. So what was happening, if you imagine a large Bible study, people are invited to share whatever's on their heart, someone gets the microphone, well, I was reading about you know this old myth, and they go off on this long thing, and then three other people have an opinion, and before you know it, we're not talking about Jesus or the Bible, it's just gotten way off track. And part of the job of a spiritual leader is to say, no, 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 we're here to help people live a life of faith in God. That's what we're here to do. We're not here to debate. We're not here to, you know, here's five things all Christians disagree on. Let's see where each of us stand on each of these and try to prove each other wrong. Maybe if you want to go to coffee and do that with a friend, if you're into that, go for it. But in the church, the goal is to help people live a life of faith in God. I love that. Uh, Here's what the Life Application Study Bible says about this theme. Prayer in public worship must be done with a proper attitude toward God and a proper attitude toward fellow believers. Christian character must be evident in every aspect of the worship service. So the singing, the announcing, the teaching of the word of God, we must rid ourselves of any anger, any resentment, or any offensive behavior that might disrupt worship or damage church unity. Unity, you might remember from the book of Ephesians and other books of the Bible, we've seen unity around Christ, which is not uniformity. It doesn't mean we all wear the same clothes or like the same color of carpet, but we all agree that Christ is the main thing. We do what the Bible says. And just like the tail end of verse four said, we help people live a life of faith in God. That sounds like a mission statement for me. Let's help people live a life of faith in God. That's what you're doing. Keep it up. I'll see you tomorrow.